Welcome to another example on how to solve a two-step equation with fractions. In this video, we'll solve the given equation by first clearing the fractions from the equation and then solving for x. There is another video that shows how to solve this equation with the fractions in it, just like any other basic two-step equation. But because our goal is to clear the fractions from the equation, we'll follow these steps here, where the first step is optional, and I'll show why it's optional in a few minutes. We're first going to build fractions that have the same least common denominator, and then step two, we're going to multiply each fraction by the common denominator to clear the fractions from the equation. Then we'll solve by adding or subtracting to isolate the variable term, and then multiply or divide to solve for the variable. Notice in this equation, the variable is on the right side of the equation, which means to solve this equation, we want it to be in the form of some fraction equals x. But again, we're going to start by identifying the least common denominator when we have denominators of eight, four, and three. The least common denominator would be the least common multiple of eight, four, and three, which we can see below would be 24. But let's assume we have a hard time identifying the least common denominator. We can build the least common denominator by looking at the prime factorization of the denominators. So for example, since the prime factorization of eight would be two times two times two, we're going to write this as negative seven over two times two times two equals x divided by four, but the prime factorization of four is two times two plus two thirds and three is prime. So in this form, if we make sure all the denominators contain the same factors, we can build the least common denominator. So looking at this first fraction, notice how the denominator does not contain a factor of three like this fraction does, which means it needs a factor of three in the denominator. So we're going to multiply this fraction by three over three. Notice that two times two times two times three is equal to 24. Now the second fraction here, notice how it only has two factors of two, so it's missing one factor of two and also a factor of three. So we're going to multiply this fraction by a factor of two and a factor of three, both of the numerator and denominator. Then finally, this last fraction only has one factor of three, while the other fractions have three factors of two. So we're going to multiply both the top and bottom by three factors of two. Notice now all the denominators contain three factors of two and a factor of three. Let's go ahead and rewrite this. Notice all the denominators contain three factors of two and a factor of three, which is equal to our LCD of 24. So now we're going to rewrite this as negative 21 over 24 equals, this would be six x over 24, plus this would be two times two times two times two, that's 16 over 24. But remember our goal here is to clear the fractions from the equation. So now we can see if we multiply everything by 24, it will clear the fractions. So we're going to multiply each fraction by 24 or 24 over one. Notice when we do this for every product, we have a factor of 24 over 24 that would simplify to one. So this simplifies to one, this simplifies to one, and so does this. So we're left with the equation at negative 21 equals six x plus 16. So notice that once we had all the denominators equal to 24, in order for this equation to be true, the numerators must be equal to each other, which gave us our equation. Now I said before, now I mentioned before, this first step of building the LCD, or at least common denominator, was optional. And that's because if we're able to look at this original equation and recognize that the least common denominator is equal to 24, we could multiply every fraction in the original equation by 24, and we end up with the same equation. And I do want to show that. So if we start with the original equation and multiply both sides of the equation by 24, or each fraction by 24 over one, If we do it this way, we do have to simplify before multiplying. Notice how eight and 24 share a common factor of eight. This simplifies the one, this simplifies the three. 
four and twenty-four, simplify. There's one four and four and six fours and twenty-four. And three and twenty-four, also simplify. There's one three and three and eight threes and twenty-four. Let's solve the denominators are one, so we're left with negative seven times three, that's negative twenty-one equals, this would be six x over one or just six x, and this is plus sixteen over one or plus sixteen. So notice how whichever method we use, this equation and this equation are the same. But I think this method is nice because we're used to attaining common denominators when we add and subtract fractions, so this is just an extension of that. Now we still have to solve this two-step equation, so to isolate the variable term, we'll undo this addition by subtracting sixteen on both sides. This would be zero, so we have negative twenty-one minus sixteen, that's negative thirty-seven equals six x. Last step, divide both sides by six. And we have our solution, x equals negative thirty-seven six, which doesn't simplify, but this is an improper fraction. So let's go ahead and convert this to a mixed number as well. We know it's going to be negative because this fraction's negative. And then to find the mixed number, we'll perform this division. Fraction bar means division, so thirty-seven divided by six will give us our mixed number. There are six sixes in thirty-seven. Six times six is thirty-six. Subtract remainder of one, which means our mixed number is negative six and one-sixth, the remainder over the divisor. We did check the solution in the previous video when we solved this equation just like any other two-step equation, so we're not going to check it here, but this is our solution because it does satisfy the given equation. I hope you found this helpful.